I will show you how to get rid of this virtual DJ logo with a simple technique like this without paying for any virtual DJ subscription or crack the software. Today's tutorial is all about video mixing in virtual DJ. If you love video mixing, I promise you are going to love this one because we are going to cover all the tips that will skyrocket your video mixing experience in virtual DJ and to make even look more professional. And please watch the video till the end because I have a bonus tip for you. It's DJ Zako here as always. If you are new, please consider to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates whenever I upload the new content. If you are interested to explore the hidden world of virtual DJ, let's get started with the video. The first thing we are going to kick off with is video transitions. There is nothing much to talk about here, but there are some few things to consider when choosing the transition style. Virtual DJ comes with quite a large number of transitions, but some of them are not worth trying it. I have tested them all and I'm going to put them in the list in the video description for you to try it out. What you need to consider when choosing a video transition style. By default, Virtual DJ is set to use only one video transition effect. Meaning, if you would like to try other video transition effects, you have to select them manually. But if you would like Virtual DJ to do that task for you by randomly selecting the video transition effects while you focus on the tracks, then you need to change the settings of video random transition. You can do that by clicking on the settings gear icon, then move to options and type random. As you can see, it's marked no, so what you are going to do, you are going to mark it yes. And then the last thing you need to do is to tweak this setting by clicking on this settings gear icon then move to video crossfader and select smart. There now you got it, you don't have to manually select video transition effects, Virtual DJ will now do it for you. Or you may want Virtual DJ to randomly apply the transition effects but don't want other transitions to be included. And you have no idea how to get rid of them. The trick is simple, just click on this settings gear icon then move to extensions and navigate to effects. From here navigate to transitions. You will be able to uninstall any transition that you don't want to be included. But what if you are thinking that maybe this method doesn't resonate with your style? Well, that rings a bell for the next step and the great news is that you still have one more alternative to try it out. Ready? Let's get into it. This method involves using only one transition effect. So now what you need to do is to change back the video random transition to its default settings. Following the same procedure I showed you earlier by clicking on this settings gear icon then navigate to options and type random. And then we mark it now. Then we tweak back at the video crossfader setting back to link it to audio. And finally we need to select the sequence video transition effect from here. Now Virtual DJ takes over the control of all your transition effect. You don't have to worry about the transitions. Virtual DJ will now automate everything. It will balance the transition of your videos as long as this crossfader is in the middle here. The transitions which are already in the videos you are mixing are now compatible with the video transition effect you have selected. It will be showing your videos in the sequences while focusing mainly on a master deck. I and mean, this is always my preferred method of video transition. You should try out both of them and find out which one best fits your style. Moving on to the next step in our tutorial, we are going to see how we can spice up our video mixing with the overlay effects where you have options like screen grab, text, title, cover, camera, shader, slideshow and others. We will not go into much details to all of them but we will take a look out of only two or three of them which will give you the idea on how to put them in use. If you would like more details on how to use the other ones we have left out, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's take a look at the text overlay. To choose the overlay you can do that by clicking on this drop down arrow then move to overlays and select the one you want. To customize it, you still need to click on this drop down arrow, then navigate to the selected overlay and move to this settings gear icon. From here, you will be able to write any message that you want to be displayed on your video, change the font color, the font style, and also the position of the text. You can write any message that you want to pass to your audience who are watching your video. You can put something like, you are live in the mix with DJ, your name. From here we can change the font style of the text by clicking on this drop down arrow then select the one we prefer from this list. You can also change the color of the text by clicking on this drop down arrow then select the one you prefer from this list but for me the default color is just fine. To spice a little bit you can also choose to add an outline by checking this box. Then change the outline color to match the one you have selected. 
but for me i'm leaving everything on default then the next thing you need to do to make sure that your text is shown on the video screen is to check this visible box here you will see that the text is a little bit bigger and longer doesn't fit the screen so let's see how we can follow that for it is size and position you can control from this box here for the position you can grab this and drag it to where you want it to be whether top or bottom but mostly it is preferable when it is in the bottom then for the size you can grab it from bottom or top like this or from left and right but this is not always common as you can see the text seems to fit our screen but what if the message is longer what do we do the solution is right here checking this box makes the text to scroll enabling longer text to be read then we can adjust the scrolling speed of the text by using this slider as you can see everything seems to work the way we want it you can always change the text or modify its looks by following the same procedure i showed earlier to download the overlays you can do that by clicking on this settings gear icon then move to extensions and navigate to effect from here move to visualization and you will be able to install all the overlays you want from this list the next overlay that might surprise you and impress your audience is the title it is an id overlay for engaging with your audience it briefly displays the title of the track you are currently playing with that said let's see how it works by selecting it first to activate it it is as easy as clicking on this dark box after selecting it now pay attention to the video screen and see what happens There are some modifications you can really make here following the same procedure by clicking on this drop down arrow then navigate to the selected overlay and move to the settings gear icon where you will be able to change the position, delay time, duration, style and also you will be able to change the font style, show cover and remix. For the position you can choose to display from top or bottom by adjusting this slider but it is most preferable on top then you can also adjust the delay time it's the one it takes before showing up when the tracker is already playing then you can also adjust the duration the time it takes while it is playing and then the style you have two types the headline which is the default one and the banner you can also change the font style by clicking here from here you will be able to change the font font style and the size you can also add some effects where you have strikeout underline and also you will be able to change the color by clicking on this drop down arrow and select the one you prefer from this list and also you will be able to change the script from here then to save your changes you need to hit ok now that we have seen the default display of the title overlay let us also see in a banner style while showing cover and remix This is the remix and this is the cover. I recommend you experiment both of the styles, adjust the settings and find the perfect one for you. As we are winding up with this video, the last overlay in our selection is the shader. This makes even mixing audio tracks with the videos more interesting than you have ever imagined. I know you are probably asking yourself how is that even possible just by mere looking at the default behavior of the shader. That is why I decided to make this video to help you clear the doubt. So let's dive right in and reveal the hidden tricks of shader in virtual dj to start using shader and other video overlays you have to make sure that the video panel is selected to incorporate shader for audio mixing with the video tracks you don't need to select like the way you select other overlays what you need to do is to first load the video track before loading an audio track then you click on this drop down arrow and navigate to source for audio only tracks and select shader whenever you load an audio track to mix with a video this is always the default appearance shader is going to show for all audio tracks but the secret is that you completely have control over the shader's behavior to reveal more of shader's ability you need to click this drop down arrow and navigate to source for audio only tracks under shader and move to this settings gear icon you will see a pop-up window that will allow you to control a shader as you can see here there are more options for shader to display apart from its default one and to be sincere some of these are even much better than the default one when you look at this one 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 and this one when we see down here we are even left with more options there is an option to download more shaders auto change bt move and for controlling its position 
checking this auto change option makes sure that to random lap by these options you have inside here instead of sticking to one option only then the beat move box makes the shader effects to move with the song and this one allows you to control the position of the shader by resizing this box and this one right here allows you to download more shaders when we look at this window it has two links that will allow you to shop more shaders this one right here and this one clicking on this link it will bring you to this official website of shader toy where you will be able to download unlimited shaders to your virtual dj but when we look at this page we only have few options only the list of future shaders are being shown here now to see a variety of more shaders we need to move to the top right hand corner of the website and click on brewers from here you will be able to download over thousands of shaders before you download the shader you can hover on top of it to see its animation or just click on it for those that indicate warning then to download right click on the shader that you want to download then navigate to copy link address and copy it then go back to virtual dj then move to this box and paste the link you copied from the website and click on this add button you will see the downloading from here as you can see the shader we downloaded is now included in the shaders list it is this one right here as you can see here let's go back to the website and add one more shader by following the same procedure let's download this one right here by right clicking then navigate to copy link address and copy the link then we move back to virtual dj from here we move to the link box then we paste the link we copied from the website to this box and then click on add button it takes less than a minute to download as you can see the shader we downloaded is this one right here in the shaders list let's click on the second link and see the collection of shaders from the virtual dj's official website that link brings you to this page where you will be able to see and download the best collection of shaders when we scroll down you will see the endless list of shaders that you can download to your virtual dj when we look at them they have two links the first link takes you to official website of shader toy you can click it if you want to view the shader before downloading then the second one allows you to copy the link if you want to download a shader let's copy the link of this one and download it to our virtual dj then we go back from here we move to the link box and then paste the link we copied from the website and click on add button as you can see it is downloading here here is the shader we just downloaded right now in the shaders list whenever you want to shop more shaders to virtual dj just follow the same procedure as i showed you earlier now that we know how to shop more shaders to virtual dj it is time to be professional and get tidy here in this box we will be able to organize the shaders by grouping them add thumbnails and get rid of the ones we don't need but take note before you download any shader to virtual dj there is no way you can get rid of any shader that you don't want but the moment you download any shader to virtual dj it will unlock all those features for you to organize the shaders in groups you can do that by right clicking on the shader then navigate to move to new folder and click it a new window will show up allowing you to give that group a name you can put any name you want then hit ok as you can see here we have gotten another section with three groups there is all downloaded the one we have just created right now and unsorted when we select all meaning all the shaders we have in virtual dj will be displayed as you can see in this list then when we select the one we created only the shaders we moved in here will be displayed then unsorted shows only the shaders which are not in any specific group apart from all whenever you want to group them just navigate the shader and right click from here navigate to move to the folder name you created or move to new folder depending on what you want to do for example let's move all the shaders we downloaded to the folder we just created by right clicking then move to a folder name same thing to this one also right click then navigate to move to folder name now when we select this folder we will see only the shaders we moved in here you can also export the folder by right clicking then navigate to export this window will show up allowing you to give your export a name and choose where to save it for the name you can put any name then hit save exporting the folders of your shaders allows you to reuse them without a need to download again if you would like me to make a detailed tutorial on how to reuse shaders and other virtual dj downloads without the need to download again just leave a comment now let's see how to add thumbnails to the shaders which you don't have navigate to the shader which does not have a thumbnail and then right click from here move to add thumbnail and click it please take note that it will not take immediate effect so for you to see the changes you made just click on the shader you just added the thumbnail as you can see here the thumbnail has been just added to this shader let's do the same for the next one by right clicking then navigate to add thumbnail then click on it 
As you can see here, this one has also got in a thumbnail. To get rid of the shadow you don't want, just navigate to the shadow and then right click from here, move to delete. And immediately the shadow will be removed from the list of shaders. Also, if you want to get rid of the folder you just created, navigate to it and select. From here, navigate to the shaders list in this folder. Right click on the shadow and then navigate to move back to previous folder. When you remove all the shaders from here, the folder will also disappear, including this section too. Now that we are done with organizing the shaders, it is time to spice a little bit with the visual samples, like this one here. There is this one, this one, this one, and this one. When we move to the next page, we still have a variety of them like this one all this you can try it out or you can also try the famous superheroes from the next page like batman deadpool spider-man and others in different styles to download the visual samples you can do that by clicking on this settings here i can then navigate to extensions from here move to samples and navigate to video loops you will be able to install all the video samples from this list. If you have made it up to this part of this video, here is a bonus tip for you. When this channel hits 1000 subscribers, I will show you how to get rid of this virtual DJ logo with a simple technique like this without paying for any virtual DJ subscription or crack the software. As you can see here, that's all for this video. If you think there is something we left out, let us know in the comment section or give any suggestions. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone whom you think it might help. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. See you in the next one.